Okay. Here's the last lesson, 3.9, order of operations. Now you're going to take all of the adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing that you've done, and you're going to put it into order of operations concept or bed mass. So let's do a quick review of bed mass for those of you who have forgotten. First off, let's take a look. You've been chosen to win a car from a local dealership. All you have to do is answer the following question without the aid of a calculator. 8 plus 12 times 2 minus 24 divided by 6. If you're correct, you win the car. If you are not correct, you go home crying. So how do we do this? Well, we have to go back and talk about bed mass again. Brackets exponents, B and E. D and M are a group. You divide and multiply in the order they appear. It divide does not come first unless it's first in order. Add and subtract is in order that they appear. So adding is not first, only if it appears first. So now take a look here. Here's our original question. If you look in here, the first thing I'm going to do is multiply because it's the first thing in the divide or multiply choice right here. Multiply comes first, so 12 times 2 gives me 24. Now the second line, 24 divided by 6 is next. 24 divided by 6 gives me 4. And now add or subtract in the order they appear. 8 plus 24 is 32. And of course, finally, 32 take away 8 is 24. This is called a record. What you do normally is we can do all the math that's here in our head. So there's no reason to show your work. I suppose that's supposed to say H-E-A-D or whatever. So we're going to do the same thing with fractions now. And if you take a look at my setup over here, I've got a record. This is what's going to be what we normally call the, uh, um, how would you call it, the, the, what we do one line per calculation. But what happens here is you have to show all your work. So you're going to take a look at two-thirds plus one-fifth divided by one-quarter. You're going to decide what you have to do first. Once you've decided what you're going to have to fir do first, then you're going to do it. You're going to get an answer. And that answer is then going to come up here and be there. We're going to copy down what we haven't done yet, and then you're going to take and do that over here. And then you're going to take your final answer here, and it will go down here. So you're going to keep a record of all your results, plus you're going to show all your work. So let's take a look at this question. All right, in bed mass, we have a choice between adding and dividing. Obviously, dividing comes first. So, 1 over 5 divided by 1 quarter is the flip and multiply thing. So, 1 over 5 times 4 over 1. That gives me 1 times 4 over 5 times 1. 4 times 1, or 1 times 4 is 4. 5 times 1 is 5. So, the result of my dividing is 4 fifths. I still haven't done the 2 thirds adding yet. So let's now go to 2 thirds plus 4 fifths. We have to show all our work. So common denominator is going to be 15 on both sides. 2 times 5 is 10. 3 times 4 is 12. So this is what we're adding. 10 plus 12 over 15. And 10 plus 12 is 22 over 15. So our final answer over here is 22 over 15. Now, if you want to put that down as, I think it's 1 and 7 fifteenths, you can do that too, or you can leave it as the, uh, the answer 22 over 15. Now, let's take a look at the next one. A little bit more complicated. I've given you a little bit of help here because I've ordered out what you have to do, and I've actually put the correct answers in. So when you do each one of these answers, your record should be updated, but then you'll have, you can double check with where you're going to go and double check whether your answer is correct. So this is what I'd like you to do. Pause the recording and try this place. All right. Brackets come first. So 2 thirds take away 1 sixth. Common denominator is going to be how these 18. 3 times 6. So 2 times 6 is 12. 3 times 1 is 3. And that gives you 12. Take away 3 over 18. 12 take away 3 is 9 over 18, which gives you 1 over 2. So the brackets answer is 1 half. I haven't done anything else yet. So this has to be included. All right. So now next, you're going to take and take a look at multiply, divide, sorry, multiply, subtract, and multiply. Obviously, the multiplication comes next because it's before subtraction. And you do the multiply in the order they appear. So 4 ninths times 1 half is next. So again, top times top, bottom times bottom, 
4 times 1 is 4, 9 times 2 is 18, and that is 2 over 9 when you reduce it. Okay, so 2 ninths is the result of this multiplication. I have yet to do the subtracting of 1 eighth or the multiplying of 4 thirds. Next is the next multiply. So 1 over 8 times 4 over 3, top times top, bottom times bottom. That is 4 24ths, which when you divide out and reduce, divide both by 4, you get 1 sixth. Go back to your record. 1 eighth times 4 thirds is 1 sixth. So now I have 2 ninths. I take away 1 sixth, which is the last calculation I have to do. So again, I'm going to go cross multiply here and I'm going to use 54. 6 times 2 is 12. 9 times 1 is 9. So it's 12. Take away 9 over 54. And if you do that, 12 take away 9 is 3 over 54, and that reduces to 1 over 18. So over here in my record, kind of run out of the space, but your answer is 1 over 18. How does this get marked? Well, as you can see, there's a lot of work there. There's a lot of work there. There's a lot of marks there. So starting off, copy the question down, and you have to choose what you're going to do first. You choose to subtract by using your brackets first. That's correct. Of course, if you do something else first, things all mess up. So then you're going to get work for all of this. So you've got one, two, three, four. There's six marks right here. And you're going to update it right here. There's your first one. Now you're going to choose the next thing, which is multiplying. Because you had to choose it, you need a mark for it. And then, of course, here's your four marks here. And you update it here. Here's another one. And now you're going to choose to multiply again. Because you chose, you get a mark. In this case, another four marks. Over here, you update your. And now go to your subtraction. And you can see very quickly that we mark these just the way we've always done. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six marks here. So in this case, you go over here and you update your mark. So for your record, you've got one, two, three, four, five marks for your record. Six marks for subtracting, four marks for multiplying, four marks for multiplying, and six marks for subtracting again. So this question, when you add it all up, is going to be worth quite a bit. Five and six is 11, 15, 19. We're looking at about 24 marks for this question. Every single thing is important. Double check it with your calculator. If you're not sure, check, well, actually, check it anyway. Take two-thirds. Use your ABC button. Do you get, I guess it's one-half. If you get one half, continue. If you don't, go back and find your mistake. Okay? You're not going to fool me by putting the wrong work down and adding it one half at the end. All right? I'll know because I'm marking every step. Okay? Once you have this, check the next one. If it's correct, move on. Check the next one. Update your record as you go. Okay? And finally, to do the final question, if you're not certain, you can take and put this all in your calculator. And you should get 1 over 18. All right, a lot of work there. We have to do tons of these examples because they're all fairly repetitive. We've done the multiplying, the dividing, the subtracting, the adding before. It's just for you now to use those tools to do the work. So let's get started on your assignment, and we will see you in Unit 4.